afternoon everyone so I've literally assigned myself a series of extremely frustrating tasks today and if I have to be brutally honest my level of anger was here and it is slowly rising because I'm trying to do some software installs on my computer for the business and it just honestly hasn't been working and my dad's an IT guy but he lives in Queensland I'm in Victoria and I'm about to throw my computer out the window. It's actually so frustrating. So I finally got onto a support person and I'm screen sharing with them and they are fingers crossed resolving everything because I have personally like mentally left the building because I was just getting too annoyed. <laughs> if you know that feeling when something is just like overwhelmingly frustrating. So now I'm going to do a, another annoying task because I don't know, I'm just causing myself to suffer today, but I really, really need to do a huge wardrobe declutter. As you can see in my apartment, my wardrobe is really tiny and that's just a case of living in Melbourne in a apartment and it is a one bed. So I'm just kind of stuck with only having the two sliding doors. It would truly be my dream to have a wardrobe with like open panel doors, but they don't often kind of make them like that unless it's really high end with beautiful joinery. But in this case, this wardrobe is getting very, very full because I used to have a lovely walk-in robe and I just need to systemize everything in there to make it work a lot better. And part of that is just clearing out my wardrobe and creating more of a staple wardrobe sort of feel because I haven't done a wardrobe clean out in months. So it's well overdue. There's so much stuff falling all out of there and I just want to clean things up so it's easier to put together my outfits. So we're going crazy today. I've got bags and bags put aside on the floor where I can just try every single thing on and if I don't like it, it will either be sold or donated because I cannot handle things just like crowded in the wardrobe anymore. So if you're someone who also has a really overcrowded space, this is your sign that you definitely need to jump in and fix it. So without further ado, let's just get going while this guy hopefully fixes my computer for me and I'll hopefully have a result by the end of this. I'm gonna start with skirts and bottoms cause I feel like this is the easiest place to begin. And sometimes I have a couple of things in there that I know need to be altered and I just haven't taken them to a tailor. So that's kind of the third alternative as to whether I donate or give it away or actually need to just get something fixed and then I'll be able to wear it properly. So let's pull all of them out and I'm actually going to try everything on because I just feel like I haven't done that and sometimes you just kind of leave things on the hanger and realize that after a while when you go to reach for them that they don't even fit you. So that is my task number one. So you're probably wondering why do I have so many clothes and I truly couldn't tell you. I feel like I've just acquired things over the years and had a little bit of a hard time decluttering and letting them go. But I also do work in this kind of content creation industry and sometimes I am really lucky to be sent clothes and things or do clothing hauls. And that means I kind of end up with a surplus of what I would logically need or would have ordinarily purchased myself. So while I do really appreciate all of the gifting and things like that, it does often lead to a little bit of overwhelm because I just kind of feel like I'm picking bits and pieces that maybe don't necessarily fit in with my wardrobe so that's something I'd really want to clear out because that means I can either give some pieces to my friends or resell things or maybe it is literally just stuff that isn't kind of my style anymore that I've been hanging on to for years and years so let's start with a couple of these. This floral skirt I love, but I have a feeling this might be one of those ones that needs to get tailored, so let's try it on. This is the skirt and I actually do really like it, but I think it's intended to be worn low-waisted and I just definitely wouldn't wear a low-waisted skirt. I want it to be high-rise and if you have a body like mine where you're a little bit more booty and not so much in the waist, you'll always get this problem. So I actually adore this, but I am going to put it on my take it to the tailor pile because that means I can get him to amend it and turn it into a high-waisted style and I'll be able to start wearing it. Next is this pink set that I have from Glassons and I actually quite like this so I'm definitely going to keep it. Next one is this white skirt from Zara and it is a little bit see-through but it's also really comfortable. I think I've just never reached for it because I was probably always trying it on over the top of dark underwear and not wearing it right. So I think with the right shirt or top and shoes and everything to style this up, it would actually be a really nice comfortable piece particularly just for the fact that it can be worn on the weekend or to the office so I'm going to keep this one. 
This polka dot maxi has been an all time favorite over the years and it's just a classic that I feel like will always be in style and always super easy to throw on. So I'm gonna keep this one as well. This one is a silky green midi skirt from Glassons and I actually forgot that I had this. I feel like these were really in a little while ago. So I'm definitely gonna hang on to it because I feel like even with this black top or like a black t-shirt, a shirt, anything like that, even some ankle boots, you can kind of really dress this up. This one I'm slightly on the fence about. It's a pedal and pup skirt with this like elasticized waistband on the top. And this part is a little bit lacy. So I feel like you couldn't really wear a top that was tucked into it. it would only work in a crop situation like what I've got going on but actually for the color it isn't see-through because it's fully lined so that's good and I think I just haven't found the right thing to style it with so maybe I'll leave this one out and try and wear it this week and figure out something that would look good with this but if you have any suggestions I'll let me know because I am really great at styling homes but I'm not so great at styling myself this is a pair of black shorts with some little pockets and they've got gold zips on them and they were from Decuba I've had them for the longest time but they are just a little bit too short and I don't think that sort of side profile situation is ultra flattering so I think I'm actually gonna get rid of these because I have definitely got my wear out of them but I can't really imagine where I'd want to wear them now these next ones are actually brand new so I probably should sell them because I've actually never even worn them once they are a pair of loungewear kind of shorts from butter butter and it's a brand that I really like I wear quite a lot of their active wear from memory they used to be a bit tight on the waist but I've probably lost weight since then so that's doesn't really bother me anymore it's more just this flared shape is really not flattering on my body and I just think they're probably made for a more petite girl that's a little bit shorter because then the length would be a, a touch longer like on their legs so I'm definitely gonna clear these ones out as well this one I love and I'm definitely gonna keep it's just a plain brown linen skirt from Princess Polly and it looks really good paired with like a white oversized shirt kind of loosely tied up or tucked in so definitely gonna hang on to this this one one is a H&M vegan leather skirt in a maroon sort of hue and I thought this was really nice for when it's quite dark in winter because I'll even sometimes get this as a nail color so I'm gonna hang on to this because it actually does fit quite comfortably and it's a nice length as well this is a different pair of black shorts that I had in my cupboard unfortunately they don't have pockets because I just went to find them and they don't exist but they are a little bit longer and much more flattering than the other ones so I definitely didn't need to have both of those pairs in my wardrobe. I was a little bit scared to try these ones on and I'm gonna say rightly so because denim and I have a very complicated relationship and I feel like I just dread putting on denim. It's never really been my vibe although over the years I have come to find a couple of pairs of jeans and things that I really like but these shorts are not it. You'll see why. They're just from Decuba. They're a lovely color like really nice acid wash sort of thing but First of all, again, the puckering on the back of the waistband, they really just don't fit me there. And they are very short. Like, I just don't think that that is flattering on my body shape. I'm someone who's very slim here and a little bit wider in the hips. And I think this just cuts me off right here. It doesn't flatter my waist by being nice and cinched and high-waisted. And it also just like cuts my leg and makes them look larger than they are in my personal opinion. And I just think everybody has such a different body. I've kind of fluctuated with my weight a little bit over the years and currently I'm feeling really, really fit and healthy, but it doesn't mean that I'm always comfortable in clothes that are just wrong for my body. So that's kind of what I mean when I say things that is wrong for me. It's not that they're wrong on anyone else. I don't have any kind of issues with my body image and things. I've sort of worked through a lot of that and a lot of acceptance, but I just think I want to have a wardrobe that makes me feel so beautiful and so comfortable when I put it on and I would kind of urge you to do the same because that's what I love about cleaning out my wardrobe. It's like these were having a little bit of a 2000s moment and it's just not where I feel is like maybe super age appropriate or just something I'd be really comfortable to chuck on and run out the door anymore. So they are definitely going to go and I'm sorry for the little preachy moment but I just feel like Sometimes we really try and force ourselves into stuff and it's just not a vibe and you feel so uncomfortable and that's been a real promise to myself that I've made over the years that I just won't 
wear clothes that just kind of don't feel like me. So off the back of my rant, we do actually have a pair of denim shorts which does everything the last pair didn't. They are longer and as you can see, they cut at a point that is much more flattering on my leg. They also fit my waist properly and they just have a little bit more coverage at the back. They're also just a more neutral color so they're not super acid washed or distressed and these, believe it or not, are just from H&M. I think they were like $40 and I didn't even have to get them tailored. They really just fit me straight out the gate. So this is actually a size 10. I would ordinarily wear a size 8 in most things, but the 10 in H&M pants usually fits me perfectly. So I'm going to be hanging on to these ones and that is the end of my denim rant because it's more just about finding things that are like actually good for you. And sometimes it kind of takes trying on things from a ton of different brands because I find the sizing as well can be a little bit whack sometimes. This is a white denim skirt that I have and it was actually just from Princess Polly when I did a previous haul. It's got this cute split detail on the front but I'm kind of on the fence about yet again the length of this. I would have just liked it a tiny bit longer and I don't know maybe it sort of cuts in a slightly weird spot. It's also a little bit loose but not loose enough to warrant getting it tailored so I'm not sure about this one let me know what you think I'm gonna hang on to it for now but I think I'll just try and wear it a few times and see if it's like a yes or no next up is this cute little checked skirt I've actually never worn this and I don't know why because it's very soft and very comfortable and also quite a nice length. I think this would be a really good one for trans seasonal kind of wear to the office with like a really nice shirt tucked in or even some knee high kind of boots as well. So this will be getting kept in the wardrobe. Shorts is one that has gone on many an overseas holiday with me because I've always felt like they were perfect to throw on. They're just from Forever New and they're a really nice material, but I don't know if they're just kind of done like the striped sort of situation. Like I don't think that's really in anymore, but I, that just proves how much they've <laughs> come to Europe with me. There's a five euro note in one of the pockets. That's so funny. This cream linen one and the white one behind it are two of my most worn. So I'm definitely going to hang on to these. I know I don't need to try them on because I've actually just been wearing them both a little bit over the last few weeks. This black skirt has potential, but yet again, it's one of those ones that is way too loose on the back section and that kind of makes me not ever reach for it in my wardrobe so I think I'm going to take it to the tailor see if they can fix it and if it still doesn't look any good from after that it'll be getting donated. Next up I'm going to go through dresses and I started with this one because it's actually a really nice dress from Beckenbridge but as you can see I've got my little bralette on underneath because it always was a little bit too low cut and the thing that I actually don't like about this is I feel like it just moves around a bit on me and because it is already a little bit short for how tall I am it sort of just like gradually rides up as I'm wearing it and it is something that I end up adjusting all night long and I never have a good time in it so I'm going to put this one on my donate pile. This blue sort of midi maxi is another Beckenbridge one and although I really like it I've actually just worn it a couple of times now so I think it's kind of done and dusted for in my wardrobe. It's not something I would reach for because I've got quite a few photos in it already and I just feel like this would be better off sold and someone else can get some use out of it instead. Ignore my bralette if you can see it by the way. I'm just kind of leaving it on while I try on all these things so I don't flash you guys in anything but this one is a beautiful 100% silk blue dress and although it probably looks really beautiful on camera which is kind of what I'm seeing it's very silky very shiny and really lovely but it just kind of doesn't fit around my hip area so it ends up puckering and because it's got quite a high slit that then sort of feels like it's creeping up so I actually think this would be better off sold and someone else can get some wear out of it. This one is just a black knit dress from Dottie and it's got quite a nice little neck detail with the little peekaboo kind of cut out and it's actually doing everything that that brown dress wasn't because it fits me, it doesn't ride up, the knit is a little bit thicker and it's nice and long in the sleeves so I'm going to keep this one. Next one is this little green pleece or pliss fabric, I'm not quite sure how you say it so it's quite stretchy and nice and it does look really great from the front but side on again because I'm quite tall it sort of seems to just cut me off at not the most flattering point and it's also just a little bit baggy where I'd rather it be form fitting so I'm actually going to get rid of this one. 
This one is a black knit midi dress that I got off the Iconic a while ago and it actually has quite a nice back on it but I just completely forgot that I ever had this so it definitely needs a wash. It's kind of covered in a little bit of fluff from sitting in the wardrobe so I think I might give this one a clean up and then see how it looks on. Next I've got this khaki kind of jumpsuit. I don't know why the pockets on this are so low but they are and it's kind of got like a tight ruched top which is nice because it gives you a little bit of shape but but this is more to something I would wear around the home. I don't think I would ever actually wear this out. So I'm not entirely sure it needs to be my wardrobe at all in that case because I've got plenty of things I could wear around home that are probably more comfortable than this. So I'm going to put this on my donate pile. We're almost done with dresses. I've put my hair up because I'm feeling a little bit hot from trying everything on. It is a pretty hot day here in Melbourne, but I'll keep going. This dress I actually really like because of the boning and the kind of just overall flattering shape of it but I actually just think it's not really in a fabric that I kind of like if you can sort of see it's like navy blue and pinstripe and I sort of just wish it was exactly this but black so I'm gonna put this on my cell pile this bright pink dress is definitely a little bit of a moment it's sort of a linen-y kind of material and it's got these interesting chain details on the back. It is actually quite comfortable and once I sort of aligned the lining under it, it does fit really nicely as well. But I don't know about bright colours sometimes. I think I'm more of a muted kind of tone girl, but I think I can probably get a wear out of this somewhere and then I'll end up passing it on. This next one is a vegan leather dress and I've just chucked a blazer on with it to see if I can get it to work. But I just don't know about this. I feel like leather should either just be a skirt or shoes or something I don't know about it for tops or even just the fact that this is a dress overall it's a little bit I don't know like it fits really well but then I'm just sort of like would I actually wear this out so I think this one actually might go on my sell or donate pipe this dress I actually wore on Jazz and I's second date so I've literally had it for over three years now and it actually fits really nicely it kind of gives you a little bit of a lift here and it's just really really streamlined so it does have kind of more square straps and a neckline so I can definitely get away with it at work with a blazer on top or a long sleeve shirt underneath and I actually am really impressed at how well this has held up just being in my wardrobe so I'm definitely going to keep this one. That's everything in terms of skirts and shorts and all of my dresses and jumpsuits and things like that so I've made some pretty good progress so far which I'm really happy with and now I need to move on to all of my tops and jumpers and blazers and things like that. So these are all these spare hangers now and this is my pile of things that I'm getting rid of so far which is pretty good progress for the halfway mark. First up, I'm going to go through my blazer collection. I might get rid of one or two of these, but I feel like they're quite good staple items to have. So I've got one in charcoal gray. I've got this nice fitted one in black. This is a cook eye one that's kind of like a plaid textured one. I have a white blazer. I've got a pinstriped linen one. And lastly, I have this sandy colored one. So those are all the blazers. Last one I have is this lioness oversized black blazer and I'm kind of hoping 2023 is the year that oversized clothing goes to die because it just isn't that flattering. It's kind of really really big and this one is a size extra small so that just kind of shows you how much space is in this and I just think I'm more of a tailored kind of person. I also don't like that this basically makes it look like I'm not wearing anything if I turn around so I'm gonna get rid of this one. This merino wool kind of shawl is something Thing that I wear every single winter and I always get tons of compliments. It's also really really warm so I'm gonna keep this. This nude colored vest is nothing special but with a tight black dress like that nice one before it's a really easy way to add a little bit of a collared corporate touch to a look and cover up a tiny bit more. You can also belt over the top of it to cinch it in so I'm gonna keep this. I went back and forth over this champagne colored super thick satiny shirt but I think I just need to try and wear it when it's a little bit cooler and see how it looks even sort of styled with some black shorts and boots like what I've got on now and if it's not working 
thing then I will move it on but I think it's a good one because the material is so thick and it actually does get really cold in Melbourne. This one is just a ribbed nude cardigan and it can also be done up if you wanted to wear it as a top so I'm gonna keep this. Both of these are new additions to my wardrobe. This one is from H&M and this one is from Princess Polly and it was just as a addition of the beautiful cream kind of color cardigan tops that go with skirts and jeans and everything under the sun during the colder months and I really really love this one especially because it is a little bit more lightweight so it's a great transseasonal piece and then this one is the much warmer wool one. I thought I would just try this one on one last time. It's a really super simple knitted top but I feel like I've never reached for it because it's a bit of an odd shape so it kind of tightens on one side and then is just a regular knit so I don't know could I make that work with a skirt or is it just like a little bit weird I don't know <laughs> it probably should have just tightened on both sides maybe I could kind of make it work over the top of a skirt I'll have to see this nude bodysuit is really nice but it's always just been too big for me in the bust area so I'm gonna pass this one on another item is this camel colored little cardigan I just think this doesn't quite fit properly and again as a result I've got so many other things in my wardrobe I would rather wear it sort of ties up really Really awkwardly across the front of the bust and it's just not my style so I'm gonna pass it on. This one is really cozy but definitely something I'd probably wear around home and not out and about so I'm gonna pop it in my pajama drawer. This one is also really nice it's like a silky white shirt but I've just noticed it has some makeup on the collar so I'm gonna pop it on my wash part. This one I'm gonna try on because I've just never really been super sold on it but I don't know if I'm just being fussy. It's like a ribbed cardigan very similar to that other styled one but just in white so I don't know if it really does anything for any kind of outfit but maybe it's good just to keep as like a white cardigan option so let me know what you think I'm gonna put it on the maybe pile for next. This white crochet cover-up is a real favorite of mine whether it's a slightly chillier day or a beach day it's a really really nice styling piece to have in my wardrobe. This jumper is just a plain over jump this cropped jumper is just a plain one I bought but it actually is a bit of a yellow cream color and I really wanted something that was pure white so I'm gonna pass this on. Okay we're almost there now for some colorful items I have been given a few of these so that's why they don't really match my wardrobe but I did think this was quite nice to begin with just a cute baby blue sort of sweater but it's definitely not my style and I'm just not gonna wear it so new with tag but going to the donate pile. This stripy shirt has been a favorite for a long time it's a great wardrobe staple and I'm gonna keep it but I do need to iron it. On the note of oversized things I've actually just found this baby blue oversized blazer and again I used to wear this in winter as like a little bit of a coat or over a dress or something but I think I'm just pretty done with it. I feel a little bit weird in pieces that are so big even at work because I'm just trying to do things and it's just really in the way so I'm gonna donate this. This top is actually so similar to another one that I've got and I prefer the style of the other one so I'm gonna pass this on. These are just a couple more grey basic and I don't have heaps in grey and all of these fit quite well so I'm gonna keep them. This green turtleneck is not something I ever see myself wearing. It's not the nicest shade of olive so I think it would just wash me out so I'm gonna donate this one. That's it for the entire top shelf. I've also got a whole bunch of black items that I need to clear out of my wardrobe but they never show up well on camera so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that now and then I'll update you guys. These are a couple more pieces from the black section I'm gonna be getting rid of as well. This is the pile of coat hangers and and also the huge pile of clothes they're going to be sold or donated from cleaning up my wardrobe so safe to say it was very successful these are the two huge bags full of clothes all ready to be sorted out by me another day so that I can figure out which ones I'm going to drop off at the charity store and what I'll be putting up on my Depop. So I'll link the Depop in the description box down below because I'll likely have got to some of these by then. But that is it for this huge wardrobe clean out. I'm so happy with the progress I made. So that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for spending the day with me. As always, please remember to give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're not already. I put up two new videos every single week and there is a ton more content on the way. I hope this gave you a lot of inspiration to get in and clean out your wardrobes and just get really organized because that was doing my head in and now I feel so much better about the space. As always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And yeah, I just feel so much less stressed now. I don't know what it is about having a cluttered space that is so overwhelming 
something, but it was just too stimulating knowing that that had been such a problem for a really long time. And now I just feel really relieved. So have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.